All right, back now at 823. You know, guys, I think this Elon Musk guy is going to be okay. I think I think he's sure? going to be successful. Uh, but a new book out is chronicling his efforts in launching SpaceX. The book is called Liftoff, Elon Musk and the Desperate Early Days that launched SpaceX. And we are joined live this morning via Zoom by Eric Berger, the author of that book. Good morning, sir. Thanks for being with us. Oh, it's my pleasure. Good morning. So this, if you think about it, the whole idea of SpaceX is a is a fascinating just uh, thought to begin with. But you got to chronicle how this all got started. And obviously it begins with Elon Musk uh, in, in your work on this book. What did you learn about him that surprised you? So always known that that Musk is this really smart guy. I mean, for my career, I've interviewed Lots of smart people, Stephen Hawking a number of times. <laughs> but what separates Musk is he has this incredible drive. Um, he takes his employees and his projects and he pushes them forward with this relentless energy. Mm -hmm. And we saw that time and time again with SpaceX when they would run into these roadblocks and he would just, you know, keep his teams moving forward. Now, that makes him a very demanding person to work for, without a doubt. Um, but in the end of the day, he does get results, and the people who worked on those projects were glad to be a part of that adventure. It it kind of sounds a little like Steve Jobs. Did you get the sense that people that worked for him like him? Uh, yeah, I think some of them liked him. Some of them, pretty much all of them respected him. Some yeah. of them probably feared him a little bit. Um, uh, that's just sort of the, comes with the territory. But the Steve Jobs, you know, is a fairly apt comparison because, you know, Steve Jobs liked to use, do these big iPhone reveal events. And SpaceX and Elon does the same kind of things. He does yeah. it with Tesla, too, of course. But, you know, going all the way back to 2003, um, he was trying to build this small Falcon 1 rocket. And NASA and the government and potential customers didn't really think it was real. So he had his engineers, his, his machinists, fabricate an entire rocket. Now, the, the guts inside of it weren't real. Yeah. <laughs> but he drove it. He drove it from California across the country to the Smithsonian and like had this big shindig on, on, on right in the center of Washington, D.C. at the Smithsonian with this rocket outside, just this kind of showmanship. Yeah. So the, the title of the book references the desperate early days of SpaceX. What made it desperate? Well, it was a couple of things. First of all, they just didn't have that many people. Elon put about $100 million in the company, and that's a lot of money. But, you know, rockets are expensive, people are expensive. And so they were trying to build a rocket with about 100 people. And they were initially going to launch it from Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. But they couldn't really do that because they ran afoul of the government and some other competitors. And so they had to go to the middle of the Pacific Ocean. So they had to build two launch sites, one rocket, and, uh, and they failed. They, the first launch failed, the second launch failed, the third launch failed. They were out of money. They were down to their last parts for their last rocket. And so in September 2008, everything was on the line mm -hmm. when they put that fourth Falcon 1 rocket on the launch pad. Uh, in the book, you talk about there was almost a mutiny among his employees. Yeah, so they were they were on this small atoll in the Pacific Island, and so to get there, you fly from L.A. to Honolulu, and then you fly that same distance again further west, and you end up in Kwajalein. And so the logistics there were really poor, and basically, the the launch w was on a small island in this hole, and then there was a communication center on, on a larger island, and they were talking with back to California as well, and you know a couple dozen or, or one or two dozen employees would work day and night basically on the island and at yeah. some point the food ran out the cigarettes ran out oh, dear. they felt like they were being hard done by and so they yeah. said you know until we get something to eat or smoke we're, yeah. we're done working and the i mean it, it's been overplayed a little bit the, the mutiny only lasts for you know several hours but it was a serious yeah. situation the the launch director you know hired a, a helicopter and they they got food there as quickly as they could so they, they took it seriously well the book is fascinating it's called liftoff elon musk and the desperate early days that launched spacex where can people get it you can get it anywhere man but anywhere books are sold it's, it's a great read i appreciate the time fantastic eric thank you so much it's a fascinating read thank you Take care. All right, guys.